Hi, welcome to Sport Scene. Let's aim sport. Today we have with us Deepak Malik, the national coach of Indian table tennis team, also a co-founder of Stupa Analytics. Currently, his academy, Pinnacle Table Tennis, are making a mark on the national and international area. Table tennis is an integral part of his life. His journey has been an amazing one. It has been a roller coaster ride, from traveling to six to eight hours every day to get two to three hours of practice, to supporting his own training by doing odd jobs as well as taking different coaching assignments. This Rotak peddler has come a long way. Please welcome Deepak Malik. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching, and thank you for sharing. But Please do subscribe on our channel, Sports C Says, and help us spread the word about Sports C. We go with the same handle, Sports C Says, across all the social media platforms. Do subscribe to Sports C Says. Thank you. Hi Deepak, great to have you on Sports C, uh, and I'm really looking forward to some uh, to talking to you about amazing game of table tennis. Thank you, thank you, Sid. How are you? Uh, I'm all all good, all good, and uh, can't be better. Uh, uh, whenever I'm talking sports, I can't be any any better. Uh, whenever I'm talking about sports, so uh, great to have uh, you uh, for the viewers. Uh, we have Deepak Malik with us. Uh, uh, obviously, he's an ex ex player. Uh, he is the coach of India national table tennis team, founder of uh, Stupa Analytics, which is working on the racket sports analytics for growing the sports with technology. Having his own academy, uh, supporting so many kids, underprivileged kids, and the para kids through his own foundation. Uh, but the journey wasn't easy for Deepak himself. Uh, whatever we see, get to hear now, but journey wasn't easy for Deepak himself. Uh, I, if if I'm not wrong, Deepak used to travel for almost four to five hours for your two hours training. Uh, uh, that is exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ex exactly. It is eight to ten hours specifically. Wow. It's not four to five hours in a day. Uh, to get uh, two to three hours of training, yeah. Oh wow! And from there to where you are, I think uh, uh, there is a simple thing like "koshish karne walo kabhi har nahi hoti." I think that is what it's all about. It's like it's for those two three hours of training, traveling for seven eight hours is is not a joke. And I think hats off to your dedication. And uh, uh, I think that is exactly we are we get to see get to hear about you uh, and uh, that is what the whole generation wants to know and people want to know about what hard work is and how you get the result out of it so let's start with uh, your journey in table tennis how did it all begin actually basically i am from a small city called rohtak uh, from haryana so i got to know about table tennis from uh, our family friend uh, so so then i and in class 8 so i have started my table tennis uh, training in class 8 at my uh, uh, under my first coach so mr anil saini so then uh, i picked up very well so i uh, so i because my mother is i am already from a sports background family so my mother is a uh, handball coach and she she was a asian games bronze medalist at her oh, time wow. so nice. because of that i always into sports so but uh, because of that i picked up very well so in the first year only i got a medal at state level and then i got selected for the uh, haryana team uh, in the upcoming nationals so then it all started from a small town but unfortunately my coach got transferred and then i realized uh, the main ecosystem and the sub, uh, what it is about the sport uh, mm -hmm. so what uh, player need so then in next 2 to 3 years i suffered a lot and i tried to cover it from my best uh, knowledge and my best infrastructure but and finally in class 12th where i started my long journey of 8 to 10 hours in a day so i came to delhi to train uh, under professional coaches and i was lucky enough and then fortunately i was i, I can say i'm lucky enough to have very good coaches or for a shorter time uh, but uh, then the, my journey started and i got admission in the sports bases in du so yes now now it's i am here today it's a it's a fascinating journey and i'm sure that every day was a different struggle different fight as as people say right you have to win the small battles to give in a war 
first yeah. focus on small battles i think uh, that is what it is and uh, the whole topic today is about uh, how sports aspires inspires and motivates the life so what are those three moments for you uh, what aspire you to be what uh, pick up table tennis what inspired you or who is your inspiration and what motivated you to be a better version of yourself every day so like first my parents supported me a lot and because of them i i was able to reach delhi and got admission and then when i got admission in delhi then i when i saw there there are many uh, young kids those who are get, got admission in uh, du especially from all over the country and when i see the difference that i am being a sports person and they are not uh, they are from non sports person background so the the kind of discipline i have and the kind of focus i have so that inspired me a lot initially so yeah. i i i i knew that why i came here so what is my aim then when i started my journey as a player at a better version at Na- national arena so mr sharad kamal and he's a uh, true legend for table tennis for our country and for so many long years and so i i always see uh, toward him to become like him so and as a uh, wonderful human being yeah. then after uh, then i got a ch- chance to have a one month coaching camp under kamlesh mehta sir in mumbai so uh, so he allowed me to get training for a month in my college time uh, so then he is the person who motivated me who inspired me as a bet- to become a better human being first mm-hmm. then a sports person he always used to tell me if you are a bet- wonderful person you are a good human being without good human uh, being you can't become a good player you can't become a true sports person and and he is a person who his words motivated me a lot and pushed me a lot in my difficult time because uh, in delhi i used to do part time jobs sometimes part time coaching or sometimes small jobs or jobs to meet my expenses uh, to stay in delhi so many ups and downs are were there in my career in my personal life but i think uh, sport is a wonderful thing uh, and because of that i pushed myself and and kept my journey uh, forward wow wow it's, it's it's so nice to hear uh, hear these uh, these stories and it's not only about um, i i don't think the stories are nice because we get to hear struggle in it uh, i think the stories are nice because we get to see focus and dedication in it i think that is what uh, people should look at the, uh, these uh, these uh, stories from uh, uh, what you had so uh, deepak now uh, now you being a, a, a coach of india national and uh, coaching so many other athletes at a different level what is the advice you would have given yourself if you were a coach to yourself uh, 20 years back <laughs> actually now the scenario is changed and that time uh, the things were very different because uh, now in india uh, and in sports specifically i would say studies that time also academically but now many things are in uh, in a very professional manner so that time uh, there was a lack of proper uh, coaching or proper groom uh, so the uh, so that the every upcoming player can get so mm-hmm. i just give uh, advice to myself to become more smarter and play more strategically because uh, be- i used to i i had very good uh, fitness techniques but i don't know how, uh, i didn't know that time uh, that how i can implement my good techniques to win a ma- point or to win a match so because of that my graph was always ups and downs but now uh, see are uh, these days the kids which are training at very good professional level and under training me at the age of 10 or 12 uh, sometime i feel they are playing smarter than me that, that i used to play at that time <laughs> yeah. yeah but uh, but, but yes they, they may be playing smarter probably that's a generation that's a new generation and uh, they have more exposure and awareness but what are the mistakes that you feel the new generation is making vis-a-vis uh, what what we used to feel that okay uh ye agar apne ko hota to hum log kaise karte and the, and the kids are still repeating those mistakes even though they have all the facilities so what are those typical mistakes so i think uh, it's not about mistakes first of all yeah there are few but i i'll come to late i'll come to that point later on but first of all i think now facilities are there infrastructure is there 
uh, even we can say resources are also there. So now we need a combined ecosystem. So where we are still lacking as a sporting nation. So uh, there are a lot of good talented players and not in table tennis, in all sport. And, in, and, and if I talk about table tennis in India, we are doing very fine at the younger age. Correct. But I think we need to combine those uh, parameters, those facilities and make a very robust program because kids are like, they will not, they don't know what to do in their future. They, they don't know how to plan. So I think we should give them a better plan, step-by-step -step plan, and they have to follow that plan and they can achieve their best. Correct. And yes, uh, secondly, uh, mistakes these days uh, from the players, the younger players, and not only from the players, from, from, the, uh, from our environment. Uh, there's only one distraction, which I say the so social media, <laughs> the mobile. So if we can uh, balance it in a way, I'm not saying uh, they don't know, uh, they don't uh, have to use it, but there should be a proper balance. If right. they can keep it in a balanced way, I think they can perform way better than which our earlier version or their earlier version perform. <laughs> nice. And uh, I, was, I was just spoke to Manav uh, about the same topic about the social media. And he said, uh, sir, it is not about distraction. It is about what you grasp from it is important. Social media is there to help us. Uh, yes, <laughs> so but, there's a different but side. Is exceptional. But is, exceptional. is a very exceptional kid. So, yeah. so he's a very analytical boy and a very exceptional kid. So everybody's not like Manav. <laughs> yeah, obviously. You can't, not everybody can be world number one at 18 and 21, right? So, uh, yes, so, yes. Yeah. Yeah, with this kind of a limited environment and this kind of a, uh, where as in India, we have not performed, we, we didn't become in the top eight of the world so far in any person as a senior individual, but he, be, he becomes a number, number one in juniors as well. And then youth, so yes. both the categories back to back. Correct. Correct. So, uh, anyway, so uh, now, uh, my, uh, my question is about your passion for table tennis there, but table tennis is for so many years, uh, always looked up as a recreational sport than the frontline sport. Yes, people playing that, the athlete playing that for them to the frontline sport. But for, for the world, it was always considered as a, uh, for Indian specifically, as a recreation sport. How much of uh, UTT uh, has made an impact uh, for it to get the glamour and the visibility it, it, it actually required or it was supposed to come in a different way? So I think UTT has done the wonderful job. So, and that was the time when table tennis, uh, I think UT is the, UTT was the main thing which was needed that time for mm -hmm. the Indian table tennis. Okay. And along with TTFI, when they have collaborated with TTFI, they both have done very well. But the kind of uh, exposure UTT brought to Indian players, right. even uh, I have seen uh, from my own eyes and uh, talking to everyone and, and so, so there is a huge uh, difference which they have created. And the kind of thing uh, the younger generation look after, after like uh, when they will be in the senior team and they will go for exposure, the kind of atmosphere in the hotels, in the training arena with yeah. the world-class coaches. With the, and they got to know about those situations at a very younger age. Yeah. And now they know how to handle that kind of a glamour. Okay. And it's so both ways. So awareness wise and the younger generation, the nourishing of younger generation, I think UTT, UTT is the wonderful thing which happened to Indian table tennis. Yeah, and uh, yeah, exactly the UTT happened and Commonwealth happened and the Asian happened. So I think it, everything just worked pretty in magic. Time. Yeah, yeah it's in, in time. And uh, I think all uh, the whole mehnat of uh, Vita and uh, Kamlesh sir and uh, somebody like Sharad getting this opportunity and probably the fag end of his career, but getting to be there and uh, uh, passing on that knowledge and experience to the younger generation. Uh, I think that is the good package that happened for uh, yes. Indian Devil Tennis. And uh, we are seeing the really and good... We are, and we are hoping that this thing, UTT, will continue and will uh, yes. keep adding the value addition to Indian Devil Tennis. Correct. And uh, we, we really want that and we really wish that happens. Yes. Uh, and Hiran is very uh, bullish about it. He said it, it will happen. So we are, we are always uh, good to know about that. So from UTT, just want to uh, move to a topic where uh, the company that you've co-founded uh, is Supa. Supa Analytics is uh, is the analytics partner for UTT. 
Yeah. It has amazing product. I personally have seen it and uh, uh, Manav uh, spoke highly about it and everybody's talking highly about it with TTFI and US Table Tennis uh, accepting it and uh, I think it is going no, great. So ITTF is also we we are partnering with, we have partnered with ITTF also. Yeah, yeah. So I think every, every, now it is about the, the regional part is remaining. I think the global part is done for you. So Thank how you. do you think uh, the the technology actually plays a role in development of sport? I think technology can play uh, two types of role, and and it has already played in many sports uh, in US and in the Europe region. So one is to make them uh, players, to make the players and the coaches, to make them better understanding about the the facts and the science behind the techniques, the spin and the awareness. What I say that what is happening on the table mm -hmm. and with the help of science, with that and the technology. Uh, now I, I look up to uh, uh, the analytic part. Now I think it, it will ease the job of coach. Mm -hmm. uh, up to a, a great extent level and tell the player that exactly on time what you need to do what actually if i give my ex example i had uh, experienced a lot of things that during my career in playing so after six months or one year when i used to do training a lot then i got to know Are, yaar, ye to galat kar okay. or nahi, ye theek hai. so i need to work more on this but with the help of technology, with the kind of services right now, Stupa is giving to the players, the match analysis. Now we are coming up with the practice analysis. Yes. You'll be able to know the speed of the ball. You'll be able to know the contact point and immediately the, uh, at, you'll be able to know the, uh, on which specific part you're lacking and which is your, the best part, or you can make the strategies against to your opponent also. Correct. So, and the second is about awareness, uh, the popularity of the game to the uh, general awareness to the uh, mass. Right. Because we are now we are not only focusing on the analytics part. We are also focusing on uh, the media creation, or uh, like we have done with the UTT, uh, mm -hmm. for the better understanding of the viewers. Because right. to to make a game up to extent level, the commercialization is needed. Right. So I think when viewer will get to know what is happening on the screen. So like for cricket, everyone knows where is a square drive, <laughs> where is a gully, uh, uh, what is in swing, what is out swing. So, so I think this is the main high time where viewers should know uh, these kind of minute details about table tennis. Right. Then only they'll be able to know oh, are ye service point because ye service point gaya kyon gaya? what kind of service it was, what was the spin. So we should give something to commentators to speak about Correct. and uh, broadcasters to show them to the uh, audience. Right. And uh, I think we wonderfully put it two ways, right? One is for fans and the people to understand for masses and one is for the athlete for their development. Uh, and uh, you don't have to wait for long. It's an instant uh, yes. instant feedback that you get. Uh, probably sometimes even coach might not be able to give the instant feedback because of the, the way whole uh, analytics or the AI involved. I think you get the instant feedback uh, from the technology and it's an enabler uh, for the coaches to have a better... Yeah, yeah. it supported my... Personally, it supported me very well to prioritize the sessions, the training plans for my students, for like Manav. So we, I have changed so many uh, uh, like strategic planning uh, mm -hmm. for specifically for Manav and that worked. Right. So, okay, while on this topic, uh, the new generation is pretty kicked about the technology. How do you see uh, the, the 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 senior players, older players, actually adapting to this, and uh, do they face challenge in the adapting to this? Um, right now, I can't say too much because now we have started yet with the more younger players up to the youth. But uh, recently, last in last two months, jo, uh, there's a player from Slovenia, Jarko Dog, uh, uh, Jarko, I'm the name mm -hmm. for Jarko, and he's like. Uh, He's right now in world top 30 and uh, he used our services and he liked a lot. And right. we and uh, recently uh, three senior players from Hungary, their official Olympics team players, they have started using our uh, analytical services and we are getting very positive feedback very uh, from them, the, from the senior players also, but yet to know about the whole everything because it's just the beginning. 
yeah and it's, a, it's also acceptance right sometimes the senior players have yes. their own ways of different learning so true, true. Uh, yes so uh, uh, so so deepak uh, while uh, we are talking about sports and the struggle and uh, the whole dedication that you had uh, what is what do you think is the as per you is the importance of education in the athlete's life uh yeah are you talking about the academics or academic having education you being completing your graduation and having the basic education yes focus could be sport that's your primary sport uh, to become professional but the educa- the role education plays in an athlete's development so i think i i equally go uh, parallel with the sports i am not a, a person who like to say more no you have to play only t t or a sport and now it's your job done now go and sleep eat sleep and play no 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 so it's so basically it's my personal point of view uh, so like I, i used to tell my students also to uh, to the parents also like so like we have a 24 hours so 8 hours for the training and eight hours are like the olympic level players the professional yeah. those who used to uh, include their two hours fitness three hours a uh, morning session three hours evening session and eight hours are good enough with the if the intensity is good even at some players at europe they 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 are training only for four to five hours and they are yeah. at the top of the world yeah. so and if you give eight to nine or ten hours to your rest one hour in the in the day time and eight to nine hours in the night and if you kept uh, keep out the two to three hours for your gossiping the food <laughs> and the, the shower and everything still you are uh, having few hours four five six seven hours in the day yeah. it's just about to balance in a proper way Very because yeah. the younger kids the players those who are in school if i i always say if a player is intelligent he can implement uh, implement that intelligence into the game so for yeah. example uh, in the first set uh, of the first game of the match you want two service point and you are a decider deuce or decider nine all and you have serve in your hand how yeah. you keep remind yourself that these two services you have to put or this is the main strategy this thing will mm-hmm. come from the academics you need to learn you need to practice yeah. then the same thing you you have to implement in the exam so so the, both are like uh, pr- parallel and until 12th i can say you can manage both and if you are doing good in sports then you can keep uh, uh, going for your sports career but Correct. yes then you sh- you can you should go for the graduation the post graduation side by side similarly i have done in my career i did my graduation in bsc electronics from uh, hindu college after that i have done my mba in marketing management from chandigarh so so even the satyan is a very great example yeah, he is performing example. very well and he is an engineer Correct. so there was a player at my time r abhishek chopper from chennai so uh, he he was uh, the in uh, the part of indian team during 2000, 2010 commonwealth game senior team Correct. and after two months he completed his ca final uh, not exactly right. two months so we, so, we, Uh, we also have example like pv sindhu winning mba yes so and who is still at the top of the world and she being a mba and we have the engineers in cricket uh who like anil yes. kumle shrinath it's and it's just uh, about it's, it's, it's i think just it's, about the discipline yes and the balancing the whole uh, schedule of the day that's it i think you put it pretty easy. I, you made it sound so simple i think the kids will not have any excuse to give now uh, yes <laughs> yeah so uh, uh, so uh, deepak i can go on and on for the chat but i have one last question uh, for for today is what is your advice to the the next generation of kids and the parents uh, whoever is considering sports as a career for themselves so i can say like for the players so you need to do proper planning and there is no shortcut to the success the hard work so because uh, when sometimes the situations are not in favorable for yourself so players tend to do or to give uh, some excuses right so i would suggest you should keep faith on yourself faith on your parents and faith on your coach and do hard work and for the parents uh, i have a very strong advice uh, for this, uh, specifically for these uh, yeah. generation this kind of era like uh, so i'm uh, facing with the every day L- uh, kids are smart enough they are good enough 
please let them be themselves so you don't need to give advice on the each and every area yes you need to keep watch on them yes that is your responsibility and your duty but you not need to enter in their each and every zone either it's, it's <laughs> academics every subject or it's a table tennis or a cricket or somewhere because then only they will perform their best right i that's it i think this uh, this is so so well put through uh, so yeah i think uh, this is what the the kids wants to listen to i think kids must be happy to listen to this kind of advice given to their parents <laughs> but but i strongly feel now, now the the younger kids those who are coming you know, 10 12 or the manav generation they are extremely talented and uh, responsible players responsible generation just we need to give them proper guidance that's it right so good uh, so uh, deepak i think this is this is we want to we can leave on the on the high note but just one one small question if if not table tennis what would deepak be doing mm, i don't know I, sports only that's it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so it's it's it's, it's li- live breathe eat sleep sports it's that's yes, what it is yes, yes. excellent now, and without table tennis nothing <laughs> wow excellent and keep this fire up keep this uh, service to the sports uh, up and i think uh, there's a long way to go and is amazing accolades to be one for you as a coach you are at your players who are supporting stupa as a company uh, and your service is really required for the country to become a sporting nation so thank keep you. doing that uh, thank you and uh, wish you all the best and t- meet you soon okay thank you thank you very much sir thanks for this uh, giving me opportunity to this your wonderful platform and uh, you are providing uh, seriously a very good awareness program to the viewers and to the players and the coaches of this country which is very much required this time thanks a lot thank you thank you take care and uh, stay safe okay okay thank you for liking thank you for watching and thank you for sharing but please do subscribe on our channel sports e says and help us spread the word about sports e we go with the same handle sports e says across all the social media platforms do subscribe to sports e says thank you mm-hmm.